In this video, I'm going to be going over some creature variants you might not know about in Orc Survival Evolved. Before we start, I know a lot of Orc players that play the game a lot are going to know a lot of these creatures, but some of them you might not know, so, but anyway, let's just get right into it. So the first one we're going to go over is the Spirit Bear. So this one is found in the Labyrinth Cave on Ragnarok and is basically just a ghost dire bear. You can only spawn it in the Labyrinth Cave and I'll have the spawn command on screen if you want to spawn it in. Next is the Spirit Dire Wolf, which is basically the same thing as the Dire Bear, just the spirit ver or ghost variant of the wolf. Now there's actually another ghost wolf that was added during the Fear Evolved event, and it's like that blue one. This is not it, this is the Spirit Bear, which is, or the Spirit Wolf, which is a different variant. Next is the Polar per Perlovia, it's kind of weird to say, but yeah, this is just a variant of the Perlovia that I don't think a lot of people know about, the Polar version, and it just spawns in with different colors and only spawns in in the ice caves and is really strong. Next is the Yeti, which I know a lot of people know about this one, but this is basically like the alpha version of the Gigantopithecus. It's bigger and it's found in the ice caves on Ragnarok, and I think you can find it on a few other maps in the ice caves, but yeah, that is that. Next is the Polar Bear, so there's actually two Polar Bears, just the regular Polar Bear, which is this one, and then the Polar Dire Bear. Now, this Polar Bear is actually bigger than the regular bear, unlike the Polar Dire Bear that's on Ragnarok. This one is on the island and is found in the ice caves and is way bigger and stronger than a regular dire bear, which is pretty cool and is untamable as well. So most people know about the giant bee and the giant queen bee, but there's actually another variant out of the Crystal Isles, which is the worker bee, which I didn't even realize how big it was, but it's absolutely massive. It makes the queen bee look small. This is found in the bee cave on Crystal Isles and I believe is untamable, but it's absolutely huge and there's usually huge swarms of them. This is also the only bee variant that can land, which is pretty cool. Of course, I didn't really know that this one could land, but it can. No other bee can do that. That's going to be it for this video. If you enjoyed, make sure to leave a like and also subscribe. Make sure to join the Discord server. I'll have a link in the description. But thanks for watching and bye.